All right, now we're going to draw another layer that has a different geometric line blend on it. So I'm going to turn this layer off. See where this eye is? It lets you turn it on and off that way. I'm going to turn that one off, and I'm going to make another shape now. So I'm going to make a new layer. So either click there or here and say new layer and call it shape two. Press OK. And then we're going to get our pen tool right here, P for pen. And you're just going to draw like this zigzaggy line that goes across, OK? Let's make sure we have the right appearance, though. So fill is none, stroke is white. That's what I want. But I want the stroke to be much bigger than that. So let's go 0.5. So choose 0.5 and then start off the window. Don't start drawing here. Let's go off into the off the artboard and then just draw um, just kind of a zigzaggy line, nothing exact. Try not to make anything too vertical, like see how that is really straight up and down. Try to make sure you're keeping an angle because otherwise it, it does some weird things when it blends. So make sure you do have somewhat of an angle. Some of them can be short like this. Some of them can be taller. Just don't make like a vertical line. Just keep, keep it angled. You can even go way down like that and way up. All right, so I have that line going across. Now to end the path, I need to come over here and click the selection tool to get out of that. All right, now I'm gonna click off of it so I can see what it looks like. Got these zigzags. I'm gonna move it down because I don't want it to be on my whole page. I just want there to be zigzags in the middle. So keep it on like the upper third or fourth of your page. All right, now I wanna make a copy of that down here. So besides going copy and paste, there's another thing you can do in Illustrator to copy something. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to hold the Alt key. Notice how when I hold the Alt key my cursor turns into two triangles instead of one. So while I have this, the Alt key held, I'm going to drag down here and it's going to make a copy of it. Now before I let go, if I hold the Shift key, it will keep it perfectly straight. See, when I have the shift key held, it's perfectly straight up and down. If I don't hold the shift key, when I'm dragging it, it can move anywhere. So the shift key, while one finger is on the um, alt key making the copy, if you put another finger on the shift key, it will keep your lines perfectly in line. So I'm gonna put it there, let go with my mouse first, then the shift and um, alt keys can get let go. All right, so now I have these two zigzags, and they're in exactly um, they're in exact alignment. So I want to select both of them. So I'm going to put my cursor around both to select all of them. And then again, we're going to go to the Blend tool. We're going to click here, and we're going to click on this point, and we're going to click on this point. And since we already had 50 as our um, Hold on, let me do something over to show you something. If you right click on here, it lets you put in the options. I'm going to leave it like we had it, specified steps and 50. So that's why it automatically didn't do that because I didn't right click on it. I just clicked on it. So we're going to say OK just to be consistent there. And there we go. So now we have these cool zigzaggy lines. If you want to go check out how it looks, you can go to presentation mode and see how that is, all right? And then press escape to get out, and we're gonna save it, and then I'll make another video showing you how to do the next thing.